Goonhammer doesn't track it, and Games Workshop certainly doesn't track it, but it is perhaps the most valuable statistic for games of Warhammer 40,000. It isn't how much fun people had, much as I would love for that to be a quantifiable metric. How often are people finishing 2,000 point games? 2,000 points is considered the standard game size. You might have just thought, oh well that tournament percentage is not important, I don't finish casual games all the time, and... Oh. We need to know how often these professionals are finishing their games in real time, or how often they have to stop 15 minutes before the end and talk out the game when there are still victory points to play for. And I don't mean games where one side is entirely wiped out or where the outcome is absolutely not in doubt. Having to stop close fought games because the time ran out. That is not a good game. And I want to know across all the tournament players, not just the top tables, where they should know their army inside and out. Sure, your first game of Warhammer 40,000 might not be completed in the allotted time, but after a dozen games and you are still not finishing five turns in the time you have, that's a game design problem, not a you problem. Just play Custodes is not a solution. I've seen it in the comments of unrelated videos that people don't finish their games and the response is that, yeah, this is normal. And I hate that it is normal. I don't care if it's the way things are, it isn't the way they should be. I'm not mildly peeved. I am fully peeved. Let's grab Games Workshop and pull them aside and get out the teaching board and go over some basic mathematics. We establish from this first line that 1000 points takes 2 hours. I would say that's about right. So x is 2. So Games Workshop, what is 2x? You seem to have written 3. That is not how algebra works. How are you not called out on this more? In what world is twice the number of points not equating to twice the number of units and twice the amount of time? You don't need to have a super heavy and you can still take super heavies at 1000 points. What is going on in that mind of yours Games Workshop? If 1000 points takes 2 hours, then 2000 points should take 4 hours. How did a tighter 3 hours become the standard to put in the core rulebook for new players to see and feel inadequate with? I'm a fast player. In the last two games, more for my opponent than me, we played with a chess clock. My opponent was feeling bad that they weren't finishing games and wanted to get faster. That sucks as a feeling to have. I was faster than them, but not by that much, and with board setup, deployment, scoring, and all the rest of it in between, you know, where you roll the dice, it took us nearly three and a half hours for four turns. Following the algebra, and this game as a good standard, four hours is right for 2,000 points. Tournaments don't do that. Most are two hours and 45 minutes per 2,000 point game, and then hard dice down at the three hour mark. I've also had tournaments where I have yet to take my fourth turn as the second player through my opponent with no fault of their own having a lot of fire warriors to move and shoot with. And with 20 minutes left, they argued that we should split the remaining time between us so it was fair. No. It is my time. All of it. For my turn four. Then we've had equal turns, then we have the final score. This also messed up our victory points a bit and means that despite a prevailing meta or counter meta wind in coming for battle line hordes, elite armies can perform better because if your smaller army gets to play out all 5 turns and scores on all the turns, even your losing score may be higher than the winners on other tables who had 3 turns of horde versus horde and no way to know who would score more points later on. It is also really annoying to not finish a game. I had a really good tournament game, Gene Stealer Cult vs Eldar and we were both doing really well. I had 76 victory points, they had 72 victory points at the end of turn 4. We were already a few minutes over full game time and we had to figure out who would win and by how much. It was so deflating. We reasoned that the Eldar would win by 6 points but maybe not. Some bad shooting could have swung it to me and we never got to find out. Please tell me that I'm not a crazy person and that you see this as an issue as well. I have reached the get good ceiling. I play like two times a week, often playtesting an army or tactic for these videos, but I can't get any faster. My comment section is open to let me know if you feel 3 hours is enough or not enough for a 2000 point game. So what issues do we get? There are problems. If the game is balanced and designed around the 5 turns, and supposedly 40k tries to be balanced, 
I don't think it ever is. If it ever got to a point where it was balanced, then there would be no need for the regular points and rules updates. But for that balance, some armies that become stronger or who have a lot of endurance will lose out to armies that strike hard and fast because they're not getting the time to regain control that should be suitable for their force. Even though they're not as tough as in 9th edition, the Death Guard have great endurance. That doesn't get to come through if the game ends because of time. Adeptus Sororitas get more miracle dice as the game goes on and their units die. Army of Faith gets better late game when you have more miracle dice to spend and you lose some of your army utility if the game ends and is scored based on the status quo of turn 3. Why use Cao Yan where you may not get to play the important turns of the game? We are seeing a lot more detachments encouraging hordes, the Green Tide, the Chaos Cult, Unending Swarm, whatever was happening to the Admech points before June. If you are doing faction win rates, what good is, oh after two turns one of the horde factions had a higher score than the opposing horde? How is that a viable result to log? Or maybe it is, and will reflect the casual 40k scene where people are also not finishing their games. If one of you got to play four turns and the other has just had three, and there is just enough time to finish that fourth turn, when should that second player score? At the start of their turn I stand it for turn four, meaning a lot of what they do is pointless, or like in the last turn of the game, turn five, should you score at the end of the turn? If you don't get to score at the end of the turn, then we return to a very big problem that occurred at the start of eighth edition. Everyone used to score at the start of their turn, Player 1 shot first, moved first, and then player 2, who is now starting their first turn with a reduced army, also doesn't get to play out their final turn as they scored right at the start, not at the end of the player turn. There's no real point doing turn 5 if you've already scored your primaries. This wasn't so bad with the Leviathan mission deck because a lot of the actions and secondary objectives were completed before the end of the turn. In the Pariah missions deck, there are more things that you have to survive your turn to score later. It's more designed around finishing five turns of the game. So solutions? We could have a points increase for all of the armies, but I don't think Games Workshop wants to do that. How will they sell as many models? How many boxes of neophytes have Gene Steeler Cup players bought to get their battle line for their army and get their army up to 2000 points? They're one of the main damage dealers in the host of Ascension despite being a chaff unit. If army sizes were smaller, then we could have more special weapons back in units. A power sword could be different to a power axe as there's more time in the game to have individual heroes. Grey Knight's nemesis force weapons could come back. It suits the elite nature and diverse weapons that space marines have. You could play your games as standard at 1500 points instead of 2000 points, but then it gets a little bit weird for army selection as some rules have a percentage specified, like in the new match play cards for the Pariah Nexus, and other rules have a set number based on game size, like the Brood Brothers rule. Under the rule as it is, two thirds of my 1500 point army could be Brood Brothers instead of the intended half. But that's just going rules as written. And in theory it shouldn't matter that you're playing at a different game size because the missions have the same board size, same number of objectives, regardless of game size for the number of points played. 2000 points is just the maximum for a strike force mission. But here is a bit more of a problem and it is sadly a problem for my whole video. I don't know if tournament players are not finishing their games. At tournaments I have been to with a semi-elite chaos army, I got to the end of turn 5 in 1 out of 3 of my games. With Index Gene Stealer Cull, I finished two out of three of my games because even though I had a horde, a super heavy shadow sword was nearly a quarter of my army. But I don't much go to tournaments. I have asked tournament players, including ones that I interview for upcoming videos, oh, someone seems to have dropped a large block of foreshadowing over there. And the response was, yeah, there is a lot of talking it out and some of the high finesse, high precision armies like Eldar, Dark Eldar, they get two or three completed battle rounds. And if your opponent or yourself are going to a tournament because it's a great opportunity to play three games in one day where you'd normally play three games in three months, you may not know your army that well so it's going to naturally take you longer and yet it's still a tournament. I'm assuming that other people at other tournaments have a similar experience. I have a community poll to back this up. If you subscribe then you will see I often run community polls. Some are about the state of the game and some are about much more important matters. But here are statistics from casual players in my community and how often games are finished. It 
doesn't look great. But if the statistic isn't tracked, then steps won't be taken to resolve it. But if we're seeing that 2000 points is too much for the competitive games, casual tournaments and casual matches should not be 3 hours for 2000 points. So you could have more 1000 point tournaments, you get more games in, great! You have more playtime, great! This means you have more time to plan and remember the rules and check the rules. Fewer mistakes, fewer, oh yeah, I forgot I had reserve units and it's after turn three, so they just count as dead. Easier to get an army because after the recent price hike, it is more expensive than ever to buy 40k models. Thank you to the people who give money to me through the Kofi link in the description. And in return, the people who use my links to get discounted games workshop models. But then comes the janky lists. You have less weapon variety to deal with the enemy. Two Rogal Dawns can be a bit much at 1000 points, and players generally have a larger collection than 1000 points, so it's easier for all players to spam the best units with the most optimal points. Playing at smaller game sizes with a little bit more time avoids slow play. That's where, oh, you have a large army, you slowly move them onto the objectives, and there just isn't enough time to play out the game and have your opponent take them off you. So you win because there wasn't enough time to play out the game fully. If there are fewer models and more time, that wouldn't be a tactic. I know that one page rules exist and it is a smaller size, but I don't think we'll be able to convince 40k tournament players to play a totally different game and not go to those 40k tournaments. Ideally, Games Workshop would rework 40k in 11th edition to be designed around 1500 points, as it had been in many previous editions, but then potential money loss from not having the standard large army. Then again, they may be trying out rules to prevent unit spam in the future and make you buy lots of models with a high price tag but a low points value. But I hope that you have fun games even if you don't finish them. Have a great day of 40k.